Hey there, how's it going today? We often get asked what we love about living in Brown and Manitoba. So we decided we were gonna put a list together of our pros and cons about living here. There are so many great things about living in Brandon, but there's definitely a few uh, detractors from living in Brandon. But first, if you're new to our channel, make sure to subscribe so you get notifications of all our upcoming videos. Um, everything we have to share about our city will be shared through our YouTube channel. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, click on that bell so you get notified anytime a new video is launched. Let's get right into the first pro. And the thing we love the most here is that it is a small city feel, but it has all the amenities of a big city. We have our airport, we have all the big box stores, but we are a small enough community that you feel safe everywhere you go. You feel safe running into the same people and you get to form those relationships that you do in smaller communities. The next pro is the diverse economy that Brandon and Westman have. There's um, we have coke fertilizer, maple leaf, there's a huge agriculture community and so much else that happens in our city and our surrounding area. It's a very stable economy. We never have to worry too much about the big ups and downs of the national market when we're living here in Brandon. That being said, our first con becomes the property values compared to some of the bigger cities. We see a lot of people moving from, whether it's Winnipeg or Calgary into Brandon and expecting the house values to be considerably different from those centers. And unfortunately they're not. Brandon house values are pretty high in comparable to um, some of those bigger centers. Back to the pros, if you are an outdoor enthusiast, Westman is amazing. We have Brandon Hills, Spruce Woods Provincial Park where there's so many trails to do all your hiking, um, mountain biking, anything you like outside. There's so many options for you right here in Westman within a couple minute drive of Brandon. Along the same notes goes to our next pro which is lake life in the summer. We have our cabin up at Clear Lake. There's Pelican Lake. Um, there is Oak Lake. There's so many different lake options around Brandon that um, you get so many options to drive just an hour or so and you have a different feel. You can relax on the weekend, get your boat in the water, do some amazing fishing. There's so many options if you're an outdoor enthusiast and you're living in Brandon or Westman. Back to a con is our property taxes. They are high. Um, Again, in comparison to some of the bigger cities or even smaller communities around us, um, Brandon property taxes are high compared to them. So there is a cost to living in Brandon and that does come in the form of property tax. Back to the good side, let's go for another pro here. And if you are a golfer, there's so many golf courses around. We have Wheat City, um, Northern Pines, there's Sunnyside, um, a really good course is Shiloh and those are all right within Brandon's area but if you want to drive for a little while um, Clear Lake has one of the I'm going to say one of the best courses um, in Manitoba. Um, Oak Lake is good. There's Pelican Lake again they all have great courses. There's so many much golf around Brandon and Westman. Back to a con again would be our weather in the winter especially in the winter. A lot of people don't like the snow. It gets really cold here um, in January. We can touch into the minus 40 degrees Celsius um, and then add some wind chill onto there. It gets pretty cold. Back to the pro side is we are very close to CFB Shiloh right here in Brandon. So we'll go 20 minutes east down the highway and they'll take us right to uh, CFB Shiloh. So that's one of the Canadian military bases where we have military postings coming and going. So again, it helps our economy. Um, very diverse in that sense. So being very close to CFB Shiloh is definitely a nice pro. Um, one of the last cons I'll talk about is our rental market. If you're not quite a homeowner yet and you're trying to save money for your first house, it's a hard market to save money and our rental economy rates are very high, um, again, in comparison to what some other rental communities are. So it does take you a little bit longer to save for that down payment. And then last but not least, our pro and with us being hockey fans and sports enthusiasts, our Brandon Wheat Kings are, are probably the biggest pro of living in Westman and Brandon. Um, definitely one of the more renowned CHL franchises as well as uh, a great community supporter. They are out 
involved in the community and doing things with the kids. I know all of the athletes in Brandon look up to the Wheat Kings and they're very, very um, well-run organization and stuff. So definitely a major pro that coming to Brandon is. So those are our pros and cons. I would love to hear what you guys love or uh, would like to see a little bit different here in Brandon and Westman. Drop a comment below. Stay tuned for our next video. Thanks guys. We'll catch you soon.